I'm Julie Hansmeyer, and um, I'm a range sheep operator in uh, Colorado and Utah. Right now, though, we are in our summer country in Eagle County, Colorado, two hours uh, west of Denver. I haven't always been a rancher, but I have been involved in agriculture all my life. My Hansmeyer family homesteaded in uh, southeast Nebraska, and so I grew up with farming and uh, mostly cattle ranching. I've been in Eagle County since 1983. How many years is that? 83, 90, anyway, it's a long time. I've loved this county, even though I grew up in farm country, I love the mountains. There's a lot of opportunities for exploring. There's always a place, a trail I haven't been. So I'm always looking at what's over the next hill or what it looks like this year versus last year. My interest in college was always plants and natural resources. We should all be thinking about um, our rangelands. They take care of us. Our grasses, our forbs, our shrubs, that's the key to healthy ecosystems. The sheep provide a variety of, of services to us as a, a community, as, as a world. For one thing, our grasslands evolved with grazing. And to keep them healthy, they need to be grazed. The sheep can also provide some fire breaks. We can actually graze an area, and you could burn back from that to provide a backfire. It's key to make those the best decisions we can. All of us, all of us as ranchers. It's foremost in my mind, just because we depend on these soils and so will the generations to come. One of the most enjoyable uh, parts of my whole year is to saddle up my horse and go visit our herds and to visit with a herder and uh, just see how his day's going. And if he's having any problems, pet his dog, and look at his horse and just check things out and, and talk about the grazing schedule, like where he's gonna go tomorrow, where he's gonna go next week. So that's really an uh, enjoyable and fun thing I get to do. I love that relationship. The quality of our wool clip starts way before we shear. It starts with our rams. Usually jewel merinos. I look at high yielding fleeces on the rams, length, strength. I feel each ram and I make sure the fleeces are soft. And then all the our ewes too. I've gone through individually our ewes and make sure that they're the kind of fleeces I want to raise. Our industry has been asked if we should call a variety of wools merino and that we should have something called American merino. This is a subject that's dear to my heart. Merino sheep provide merino wool, and merino with a capital M. The word shouldn't be used generically, because it's not the same, and it will dilute what really merino is. That's, that's soft, it's white, it's next to skin. It has some wonderful qualities that have been developed with the merino breed. The sheep here, in, in a broad way, uh, is moving to the mountain in the summer and moving back to the desert in the winter. We share a sheep in March. Sharing a sheep is hard work. So they have to really love what they do and they have to respect and care for the animal that they're sharing. Often, we don't know where our wool goes. And I was excited to know that, that Brooklyn Tweed was interested in uh, making a breed specific yarn. And that, uh, that I would know where our wool was going. My highest aspiration for this collaboration with Brooklyn Tweed is hoping that the, the folks using the, the Campbell Hansmeyer yarn know that I've cared for my ewes and I've cared for them throughout their whole life. Animal welfare, the sheep's welfare is one of my key pillars in my life. I'm pretty proud of my merinos. So I'm gonna love seeing a merino specific yarn. I don't knit yet, but my mother knitted and my best friends knit. So um, I can't wait to be able to knit with some of my own yarn.